Hey, it's Lacey and welcome back to Satoshi Gaming. Today I'm going to show you all the gold chest locations in Kataria Fables as well as what's inside. You can obtain gold keys from random boss loot drops when defeated, or by crafting them with 3 gold ingot, 10 iron stone, and 1000 pot pennies at any blacksmith. In Forest Sanctuary you'll find the first gold chest just north of the teleporter pad and entrance from Forest Plantation. Inside you'll find the Bachelor Hat. The Bachelor Hat offers plus 20 magic defense and plus 10 burn resistance. In East Freshwater Swamp, you'll find a gold chest by the teleporter pad, accessed through South Freshwater Swamp's east exit. Inside, you'll find the Noble Hunter Bow, which offers plus 65 attack power, plus 25% critical damage, and plus 70% critical chance. This is arguably the best bow in the early game, and the first chest I open. You can find a link in the description for my video all about the Noble Hunter Bow, including its upgrade path. On Kanini Beach, you'll follow the shoreline to the west. Out on the beach, you'll find a gold chest. You'll need to have repaired the bridge outside River of Fortress to access this area. Inside the chest, you'll obtain the sword skill, Ultimate Slash. Inside Mountain Tunnel, follow the tunnel for quite some time until you reach a fork in the pathway. Follow the path to the left, and you'll spot a gold chest along the wall. Inside, you'll find the Forest Guard Sword. The Forest Guard Sword offers plus 100 attack power, plus 100% critical damage, plus 10% critical chance. For more on the sword, I'll link my video in the description below all about the Forest Guard sword, including its upgrade path. In Mountain Field, you'll walk past the town center and follow the fence line path to the right, where you'll find a gold chest. You'll need to have unlocked the mountain tunnel before being able to reach this chest. Once opened, inside, you'll obtain the bow skill, Ultimate Shoot. In Sea Cove Level 1, you'll find a chest on the east wall. You'll need to follow the path all the way around to get here. Inside, you'll find the Elven Bow, which offers plus 125 attack power, plus 50% critical damage, and a plus 50% critical chance. To get this chest, you'll need to have the Sea Cove key, and I'll link my video in the description below for how to get the key. In Crystal Cave Level 1F, you'll follow the rail path west and then go south to find a gold chest. To get this chest, you'll need to have the Crystal Cave key. I'll link my video in the description below for how to get the key if you don't have it already. Inside, you'll find five copper ingots. If you continue out the west exit of Crystal Cave Level 1F and to Crystal Cave Level 2F, you'll want to follow the path past the Relic of Power and you'll see a gold chest behind it. Inside, you'll find the Dragon Slayer Sword offering plus 238 attack power, 25% critical chance, and plus 25% critical damage. And that is where you find all gold chests in Kataria Fables. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. And if you did, please give it a like and share it with your friends. And subscribe to the channel if you find value in my content and want to see more videos like these. I'll see you next time. Bye.